She's been called the action star of our generation, a true phenom, an exemplar of taking a punch and dishing out pain. We're talking, of course, about Rachel Zegler. And yes, if you're laughing right now, you're, well, one of us. Unlike Hollywood, which is the only place where they would possibly ever vote Rachel Zegler above, well, a few action stars we're about to name who deserved it more. Hello folks, welcome back to the Pro Channel. We are absolutely overwhelmed with joy each and every time you click that button and join with us as we explain entertainment, keep you ahead of the culture curve. And maybe we did not even see this one coming. It's so laughable, so bizarre. But yes, Rachel Zegler has been named the action star of 2023. She goes above some other actors who definitely deserved it more, and we're about to name them. I want to bring on the panel, and then we will dive into the discussion. This out of Newsweek, and it is, we'll get the author in just a moment. Rachel Zegler and Jennifer Aniston's uh, award show seating arrangement goes viral. That's really not the big story, though, here. We'll get to it. It's a little bit Their buried. seating arrangement? I know. It's such oh a big deal. Oh, my God. But it's in the third paragraph. This is, yes, the seating arrangement was far more important than what we've got here. Zegler managed oh to snag the Action Movie Star of the Year Award for her role in The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, by beating huge stars such as Keanu Reeves, Tom Cruise, Brie Larson, and Jason Momoa. Now, well, Jason I, Momoa did not deserve it because Aquaman uh, failed so badly, perhaps well, as the victim yet again of one Amber Heard. Brie Larson's movie was such a flop, there's no way she was going to win it. Tom Cruise, well, you know, every year he's a contender. Keanu Reeves definitely deserved this. John Wick 4, the beginning of 2023, was a work of pure art. Great movie. Unbelievable. But here's but this a name list, that should this... be on here. Denzel Washington yes. for The Equalizer 3. Denzel oh. or Keanu should have won, not Zegler. Did they well, drive a bike off a cliff, though? Keanu yeah. fell down a mile of stairs. Yes. Multiple times. <laughs> But Whoa. you know, this list of people should have been read with either Brie or Rachel at the end with the accent the way that Johnny Carson used to do Zazu Pitts on the Tea Time movie. You know, that total, and who? <laughs> <laughs> what, Keanu I mean, what Reeves, Tom Cruise, and, Z and Brie Larson? <laughs> what, what did Zegler do? Like a sitcom. What did Zegler do in Hunger Games that makes her worthy of the action star? She, she, she I mean, she, she couldn't push over somebody. She actually fell down three times. On purpose, I well, she she tripped. Oh, well, there you, you go. You counted. Yes. Next thing you know, you'll be paying attention to the seat arrangements. Um. <laughs> there, weren't, there, weren't enough, there, there weren't enough people in my theater to count. Oh well, there you go. Okay. Ah, <laughs> all right, so let's ask this then. Why? Let's all be cynical for a moment because I think it's merited. Why did someone who obviously should not have won, why did Zegler win this award? What's the purpose? Fan-driven excitement. Keep her was, name in the press. It was bought and paid nothing. for, that's all. Boys don't watch award shows. Yeah. <laughs> so she's going to be... I'm going to go with, I'm gonna go with uh, Lou on this one, although I think Lou is speaking... Uh, I think everybody else is correlating to what Lou is saying. Bought and paid for. I don't know that. Not saying it as a, as a statement of fact, but it feels very much like somebody had some uh, monetary interest in her, her name continuing to be out in the headlines. Well, yeah. we know she's going to be attached to, like, what, uh, from Snow White, obviously, but Spellbound, some other movies that are coming out uh, soon. So Who's her agent? A lot of it. Well, uh, that's interesting. Come on, Lou. Um, let's see if we can she's look that nice up. But up and coming star. ICM. Aha. ICM. I looked it up. Hmm. Well, they've uh, got what, money to spend. It, it, yeah. Explain the uh, a significant that uh, for those of us who aren't uh, very, 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 very big, powerful agency in town, and uh, they may have seen her star fading because of all of the controversy, and said, "We got to, we got to put her back in a positive here." Uh, do you think this was positive, positive though? <laughs> is, is this the way yeah. to do it? <laughs> yeah. I... It, it's listen. This stuff is all about reminding people they're alive. <laughs> That's a great you know, point. And when they have nothing else but negative headlines to remind people they're alive, but they probably shouldn't be, uh, in a business sense, I mean, of course, then you need one that's, hey, she won. 
She won. She must be worth hiring. Honest, please. We need our 10%, 15%, whatever they're getting. That would be amazing, though, to see a pivot here to uh, to to this. Uh, let's see. Let, let's say this light form. I'm going to be uh, I usually don't like to comment on a woman's uh, physical appearance too much on this show. But uh, if she's going to get into the ninja moves here, do some hard martial arts training. Yeah, maybe she can earn that award after the fact. I'd like to see that. You think they ever, ever, ever consider giving this to Gina Carano in any movie that she was in? <laughs> no. Because she's not. actually a strong athletic action star let's, style. Let's, let's, because let's, that, let's would be too, that, that would be too easy. That would be the obvious choice. And they don't want to go to the obvious choice. They want the headline. No one guys, has, no one it's has not about award. what they actually do. It's about getting them prominent in some way, shape, right. or form. The narrative. Yeah, and it's... It, well, it, it, uh, the only awards in town that I know are not totally bought and paid for are the Directors Guild Awards and to some degree, to some degree, the Oscars. And when I say some degree, what I mean is agencies and PR people put on huge, huge campaigns for the Oscars. But most of it is for the nomination because you see in the Oscars, if you're an actor, you only get to vote on nominations for actors. If you're a director, you only do directors. So it's making them among their peers, people that they want to push up. Uh, I just read a fascinating, wonderful book. You should all read called get Mahoney by a guy named Jim Mahoney, who was a major publicist for everybody you're, you know, who's famous in this town for, all of his life. And he talks about the Oscar campaigns and what they do to try and get people prominent. Uh, otherwise, uh, people's choice is kind of a late at the party kind of thing. But for God's sakes, the Golden Globes have been uh, entirely bought and paid for for as long as they've been around. You tell they me really the Razzies are fixed? <laughs> oh, uh -oh. <laughs> and by the way, the overall net effect of all this is to demean diminish the prestige of all award shows and we see that in the fact that people aren't watching them like they used to and that lou, translates into advertiser money because when the numbers aren't there they don't pay as much lou you're making a bold statement now for someone who's from hollywood you know they may laugh and say i bold my foot everybody knows this but yeah for the audience out there without getting in trouble can you can you kind of explain the mechanisms by which these award shows are bought and paid for well, uh, uh, goodies, for one thing, you know, um, uh, this guy Mahoney tells a story about when uh, Menchulam Rickless, who, if you don't know his name, was Pia Zadora's husband and a multimillionaire who at that time owned the Sands Hotel, wanted to get her a Golden Globe for the best new talent. And what did they do? They flew. There are only 30 people at that time. I don't know how many, many more there are now who actually voted on the uh, Golden Globes because it's the Hollywood foreign press, 90% of whom are the dictator's mistress who he gives a job in Hollywood so he can come visit her. Um, but anyway, they literally took them all by private plane to Vegas, to the Riviera to see her show. And it's literally bought and paid for. Uh, what can I say beyond that? Um, and nothing's changed. Nothing. If you think anything that was ever corrupt in showbiz has gotten less corrupt in our enlightened times, I have a bridge on Coenga Boulevard I'd like to sell you. <laughs> well, we're going to be getting to that in just a few, folks, because uh, things are getting much harder for Hollywood. Dramatically, dramatically harder. We've got an article we're talking about in just a little bit about the box office and what the impact has been this year versus years prior. You're not going to believe oh, yeah. The numbers. I want to go to Marina. I want to get, uh, ask you a question, though, real quick before we go to Super Chats again. Marina, when awards are given out to those who may be undeserving, what do you think the overall impact is of interest in said award shows, which right now are at their lowest interest levels? I can say it from a journalist point of view. They are paid for the critics. So they are giving us nice food, alcoholic drinks. And my colleagues will write everything they want to write. Well, so, that, that, that's interesting, Marina, because we know domestically that's what's happening. You're saying that internationally, yes, the same is still occurring. Of course. Definitely. So it's I'm all over the world. Sporting events and um, the press goodies are always the best. So. <laughs> and, and it worked for a long time yes. because the public didn't know. But now... 
it's getting out there. And the more it gets out there, the fewer people say, why should I bother to watch? It's all rigged. And that means the advertisers can't get as much return. And eventually, it'll be the what's awards, the who awards. I remember those from years ago. And to be honest, no one is watching the Oscars anymore in Germany. Yeah. It's just yeah. a small article maybe on the top news site, but... Or if they're watching, they watch the first 20 minutes to see if the monologue is funny, and after that, they switch off. The yeah, same way more people, more people beyond football night. fans watch for the commercials more than they do the Super Bowl. All right, folks, we hope you enjoyed. We hope you understand now exactly why it is that Rachel Zegler won, at least how we believe that happened. And now you probably understand better how Hollywood works and how these awards shows work. And that means that our work here is done. We're happy to bring you this entertainment, this analysis, and these explanations. It's a joy, truly. Folks, share in that joy by clicking the like button, share, subscribe, click it, stick it to the algorithms, it's the notification bell, and drop a comment down below. Let us know your thoughts, and as always, we end by saying it this way. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, keep learning, keep growing, and keep having fun.